In a Jamboard, if you want to add text to the background, you have a few different options. So one is to add a sticky note and change it to no color, but it's a sticky note, so you can't really make it go wide if it was a bunch of text, it just becomes bigger or smaller. So that's one option. Sometimes I'll just put the instructions in the corner on a clear sticky note for my students. Another option is to use Google Drawing. And in a Google Drawing, I just type in the text that I want. I changed the, um, how big the uh, canvas was. I just made it like this. And then I go to File, Download. I'm going to choose PNG. The reason I'm choosing PNG, notice that this is the checkerboard background. This is a transparent background. Transparent backgrounds only work with PNG. And so I'm going to go and to my Jamboard. I'm going to add the image. And then I'm going to just drag in or find the file on my computer. And I could add it up to the top of my page. I can choose what size I want, move it around where I want it. Um, you could also add images. So for example, maybe I wanted to have a math problem and I just found this online. I took a screenshot of this, a screen capture, and I'm going to go back to my Jamboard. I'm going to insert an image. This one's saved on my device, so I'm going to click Select from my device. And I think it's in my downloads. I don't know where it ended up. Let me type in, I named it Math. Here it is, Math Problem. And I could have this on the page for students to um, work on. Now, the issue with all of these is that when students come on, they could actually move these around and they could edit them. So you may want to um, use a different tool depending on what you want your students to do. Um, you could have them put all of this onto a Google slide and you can put it as the background of the slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this drawing and I can make this in Google Drawings. I can make this in Google Slides, but I'm going to download this or save this frame as an image. And then when I go over to my Google Slides, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of this text here. I'm going to go to background choose image and I'm going to find that image actually it's down here um, untitled jam one so I'm going to drag it over and I added it to my screen and now when I go to move things nothing happens so you can have students type in text they could use um, drawing tools things like that um, like scribble to write on a Google Slide. So that's another option, which makes it a little easier because the kids can't edit or change the background.